Steph. Well, one year ago today, President Biden visited Manville, New Jersey, and he got a good look at the immense destruction left behind by the remnants of mighty Hurricane Ida. While the floodwaters are long gone, something horrible remains. And as Jen Carfagno shows us, what is yet to come could be even worse. It's disgusting, especially if there's little children out there playing. June Vanderveer hates her new neighbors. They're running around all day long. They moved in uninvited after the remnants of Hurricane Ida left almost 70% of her town of Manville, New Jersey underwater. It's increased since the flood. Now I see families running down my yard and I'm scared to death. Sam, Sam? Rats living in and around abandoned homes. The county placed traps and sent health inspectors to investigate. Unfortunately, they carry disease. And while the rats are a major issue, June fears a bigger threat. Would Manville residents survive another flood? How lucky do you feel? Look at how fast it's going up, Jesus. On September 1st of 2021, luck ran out for the more than 10,000 people who call Manville home. 10.06 inches of rain fell in just a few hours. Look at the bushes, look how high the floodwaters got. I'm not even close to the Raritan River. It's about a half mile plus. The Raritan River crested at 27.66 feet, more than 13 feet above flood stage. A year later, more than 10% of the borough's houses are either demolished or vacant. What we're seeing here is a weather-based reality that we have to learn how to live with. We have to learn how to manage. There's no question about it. So yes, this is the new normal, and uh, we disregard that at our own peril. Upstream development, regional development, water development, impervious coverage, but also the 800-pound gorilla is the difference in precipitation events and how much drops, how quickly, because the skies are literally holding more water uh, due to climate change realities. FEMA has started to review maps to expand flood zones. The borough changed ordinances requiring residents not in FEMA flood zones to carry flood insurance. And there's a push for people to raise their homes up off their foundations. It took five months of cleanup and restoration before June and her dog Rocky could move back to their house. I'm very concerned and worried. I definitely hope someone could stop it. I wouldn't want that to be a new norm. Happy to be back but worried one more flood could mean the rats are the only ones calling her neighborhood home. Oh, that is so tough. Now, the state of New Jersey purchased some of the abandoned homes under a flood mitigation plan called Blue Acres. They are slated for demolition, but are waiting on FEMA money.